life. I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we are gonna make an oven mitt. Remember that pot holder we made in the last video? Well, we're gonna make a matching oven mitt for it, so that way we have a matching pair. So if you wanna make the matching pair, make sure you check out my pot holder video. The link will be down below in the description, or you can find it up here. And it's gonna look something like this. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Hey guys, thanks to everyone who already subscribes to Sew Anastasia. It means everything to me. I love creating these tutorials. It is my everything. And I love it so much and I wanna be able to do this all day, every day, and bring the sewing knowledge to you. So, my new goal is to get 100,000 subscribers and I need your help to spread the love of sewing. So make sure you tell all your friends about Sew Anastasia and repost my videos and spread the love of sewing. I'm also teaching virtual sewing lessons right now so you can book some time with me and I will help you with your sewing project from my design studio to your sewing room. So cool! Also, if you're in Chicago, you can take a one-on-one -on -one personal lesson with me or join one of my small group classes. The link for signing up is going to be down below in the description or you can visit SewAnastasia.com. Supplies for this project are super simple. You're going to need some matching thread. You're also going to need your scissors, your snips, your pins, your rotary cutter for cutting out that fabric. Make sure you have a cutting mat as well and you're going to need a pattern. So I have a pattern that you can download on the website under my digital download section. You're also gonna need some cotton fabric. I'm going to be using this pineapple print that matches my pot holder from my other video so that way I have a matching set. And you're gonna need about a quarter yard of fabric. This project is great for using up your scrap fabric. Last but not least, you're going to need your Thermalite. This is gonna keep your oven mitt heat resistant and protect your hands. So make sure you grab some from your local fabric store or online. First, we're gonna lay out our cotton fabric and cut out our oven mitt pattern. So this is going to be cut four. So we're gonna lay it out and cut two, and then we're gonna lay it out and cut two more. I have my fabric laid out right sides together. Once you have your fabric laid out, you can go ahead and grab your pattern and put it on your fabric. Make sure your grain line is parallel with your selvage, and then let's cut it out. So now I have all four pieces cut out for the oven mitt. Two for the inside and two for the outside. Now let's lay out our Thermalite and cut out the exact same pattern. Now I'm gonna cut two of this just so there's one layer on the front and one layer on the back of the oven mitt. If you wanted, you could definitely cut a double layer of this and double layer up on the Thermalite. So I have two layers of Thermalite laid out, right sides together, and then go ahead and place your pattern on the fabric. Make sure you're weighted or use pins and let's cut it out. So we have everything cut out. We have four layers of the cotton and we have two layers of the Thermalite. So now what we need to do is stack it together properly so we can go over to the sewing machine and sew it up. So make sure you follow along carefully. Okay, so when we lay this out, I want you to put down Thermalite, Thermalite, and then place the wrong side of your fabric down, and then go ahead and place the right side of your fabric down. So you've got four layers here. So basically you've got two layers of Thermalite, and then you've got a set of the oven mitts right sides together on top. And for the other side, which is going to be the lining, you just wanna make sure you have two pieces of fabric right sides together. Let's go ahead and pin this together and then we can step over to our sewing machine. Make sure you're lining up all the layers nice and neat. Make sure you're putting in your pins horizontally so that they're nice and easy to pull out when you're sewing.
Now that we're all pinned up, let's step over to the sewing machine and put this oven mitt together. Today I'm going to be using the Husqvarna Viking Epic 95Q. But you can use any sewing machine that has a straight stitch and has the ability to attach a walking foot to it. For the first step, we're not going to use the walking foot, so you can just use your regular foot. And we're going to go ahead and sew together the two layers that don't have the Thermalite with them. The seam allowance for this project is going to be a half inch, so make sure you're lining up the edge of your fabric with the half inch mark. Also make sure you don't forget to back stitch. It's going to be a little tricky when you get to the point, but make sure you come all the way down a half inch before you pivot and turn. So we're going to sew all the way down to a half inch. Make sure our needle's in the fabric, lift up your foot, and go ahead and turn. When you get to the end, make sure you back stitch and go ahead and cut. Now it's time to put on your walking foot or you can engage your dual feed on the Epic. So you're just gonna pull down this mechanism here and then you're all ready to start sewing. Now grab your layers that have the Thermalite with them and let's go ahead and sew all the way around a half inch, but there's one small area we are gonna leave an opening and that's where we can turn it right side out. Let's go ahead and sew a half inch and don't forget to back stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my opening right here. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn my fabric to come off of the fabric and then back stitch. Now I'm gonna leave a two inch gap and start sewing again. When we start sewing, we're gonna sew up our half inch and then turn our fabric to continue our seam. Back stitch at the end and cut. Now what we need to do is grab our snips, clip the corner where the thumb is, and let's go ahead and also clip around the curves. We're gonna do this to both pieces that we sewed. You wanna make sure you clip your corners all the way to the thread, but not through the thread. And if you've got some extra, let's go ahead and clip down our seam allowance to a quarter of an inch. This is going to help us when we turn it right side out. It's going to prevent it from being too bulky. And I'm going to do this on the curve of the thumb. And I'm also going to do this on the top of the hand here. So let's go ahead and just work your way up and cut off half of that seam allowance, which is going to leave you with a quarter of an inch. So I've got my other piece here. So I'm also clipping in to the point of the thumb and I'm gonna cut off some of the seam allowance at the thumb and around the top of the hand. Now we are all clipped. Now that we have everything clipped, we wanna go ahead and sew around the opening, but we have to layer everything up properly first. So I want you to take your two layers of cotton and go ahead and turn them right side out. Now take the one that has the Thermalite on it and make sure that you have a piece of Thermalite on both sides. And if you don't, we want to take it and flip one of them to the other side. And now you're going to have a layer of Thermalite, a layer of cotton, another layer of cotton, and a layer of Thermalite. Now what we want to do is take the two layers of cotton and go ahead and insert it into the other two layers of cotton so that way right sides are together. I like to put my hand in here and make sure my thumb opening is in the right spot. Great. So now even this out. Now I've got a layer of Thermalite, a layer of cotton, a layer of cotton, a layer of cotton, a layer of cotton, and a layer of Thermalite. 
And now we're ready to go ahead and sew all the way around in a circle. But before we sew, we're gonna wanna make sure our side seams are lined up. So make sure your side seams are lined up and go ahead and put a pin in there. And we really just need a pin on each side where the side seams are. We wanna make sure that nothing gets twisted inside while we're sewing. Now make sure to take the bed of your sewing machine off so this way we can fit the oven mitt right on the cylinder here. So right now we're gonna be sewing the piece of Thermalite and the two pieces of cotton together, right sides together, all the way around the opening of the oven mitt. And our seam allowance is gonna be a half inch and it doesn't matter where you start sewing because we're going to be sewing all the way around. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. Now that we have this all sewn up, let's go ahead, find that little opening we left and pull it right side out. It's gonna be a little tricky. Now that we have it flipped right side out, what we need to do is go ahead and put a little edge stitch where the opening is so that way we can close it up. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put the other piece inside of it and we'll have an oven mitt. Okay, so let's edge stitch, which means we're gonna stitch about a 16th or an eighth of an inch away from the edge here. Make sure you back stitch. Back stitch at the end and cut. So we've just sewn up that hole that was there. Now we're gonna take the oven mitt and shove it into the other one. So that way we just end up with one oven mitt. Okay, we've got an oven mitt, but there's one last step. We wanna go ahead and we wanna top stitch around the opening so that way all the layers stay together and they're not gonna wanna pull out from each other. So I wanna line up the edge of the foot with the edge of my fabric and we're gonna stitch all the way around in a circle. Back stitch and cut. We did it, we finished our oven mitt. I am ready to do some baking now. This project is so easy and it was so fun to make. These make such a great gift to give. And don't forget, you can totally make a matching pot holder as well. So you can have a matching set. What a great gift would this be? Thanks so much for watching Sewy Anastasia today. If you have any questions on how to make an oven mitt, make sure you leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Sew Anastasia and Anastasia Chatska. Make sure you DM me or tag me in your project so that way I can share them with everybody. I want to share the creativity that everybody is creating. Also, make sure you follow me on all the other social media platforms because I'm out there on Facebook and TikTok and Pinterest and all that awesome stuff. And if you're in Chicago, you can come in and take a sewing class with me or you can take a virtual sewing class with me as well. And all the information for that is gonna be down below in the description. And if you wanna help Sew Anastasia grow, hop on over to Patreon and check out all the awesome ways you can help support Sew Anastasia. So if you love this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and give us some applause. Thanks so much for watching, bye.